Can I just say right now, like, looking at, like, the screen or whatever, I am loving this, like, pastel moment that I have going on right now. Like, it's literally, like, giving me everything, and I love it like that it's, like, in this corner, and then, like, all this other darkness is going on around it. I don't know, I might need to change and move some bags around, but I'm really digging this, like, pastel moment. So, I just wanted to say that. Uh, <laughs> so, hi wonderful people. So today I am going to be doing a Louis Vuitton bag unboxing for you guys. It's a bag that I've been wanting since 2018 and I finally decided to get it. And I'm really, really excited about this one just because, again, 2018. I've been waiting for so long for it. And if you're interested, definitely keep on watching this video. <laughs> Hi, my name's Derek. I do all things that are related here on this channel. So if you like that kind of content, definitely please subscribe to this channel, press the notification button, and then press the like button. Because you press one thing, might as well press the other. So let's get right into this unboxing um, from Louis Vuitton. I'm really well excited about this one. So here is the box and the ribbon and the packaging or whatever. So I'm just going to take off the ribbon and then open it. it. looks like this. And then the bag itself, it is a... Oh, I'm really, really excited to get this one. It's just a little wonky, oh. but it is the Louis Vuitton duffel bag. Again, she's a little wonky, and I'm sorry for like this presentation, but literally I'm going to try stuffing her right now because She's just all sorts of like wonky looking, so I'm gonna stuff her with the dust bag. Okay, so I found like another dust bag to put in there because this bag is literally like out of shape, so I just kind of want it to be in shape. I know this is like really ghetto, but it's fine because it's canvas, so. so yeah, so again, <laughs> this is the Louis Vuitton duffel bag. Every time that I say that I got a duffel bag, people are like, oh my god, you got a key ball. Like, let me see, what is that? And people just don't know that this is called the duffel bag. Again, I believe this came out 2018. It was in the runway show. This bag, out of all my collections of bag from Louis Vuitton, has the most Bichetta leather, which is like this beige kind of like leather. And I'm really, really stressed about it because obviously if you have a lot of Vachetta leather going on, you guys can't get it wet, your hands can't be wet uh, because it will kind of change color over time because of the oxidization from the air, the heat, your hands. If it gets wet, like I said before, it will leave any marks or any traces of it being wet or and all of that stuff so again it looks like this it's not a very structured bag because you guys like i just showed you like taking it out of the box it is very like not shapely so even though i just stuffed like dust bags in there it doesn't really hold its shape at all so i'm probably going to have to stuff it which is fine because that's what you're, I guess, what you're supposed to do at this point. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's totally wrinkly, which is fine because, again, it's something you can stuff and then it's going to get the shape back or it's going to kind of smooth out the folded kind of like areas. So the bag itself comes with a top handle, which you can't really detach. You can only detach it from one side but then like the other side you can't really take off because it's like a weird like connecting kind of strap where you can't disconnect it or take it off or whatever so i don't know what the purpose of having one side with a sh like a hook strap thing but then the other side you can't take it off which is i think like a dumb thing 
but that's not the point of this bag. So then it is a S lock lock, which is kind of like a push mechanism, which a lot of bags like the Matisse has, and I recently just did unboxing for my Petite Boy Chapeau. If you haven't seen it, I just uploaded it, and then, uh, again, like I said, it has a lot of leather piping throughout the bag, and even the base of the bag. It has the fichetta leather. The hook right there and right here it has two on each side, but then I it also comes with a strap. So, put the straps onto the D-rings, and then you guys can kind of have like a shoulder bag moment right here and then i think it's really really cute or you can do like a top handle moment i i don't know whenever it comes to like bags with like top handles i will normally take off the straps and just kind of like not use it with the straps but i don't know if i can do a cross body moment with this i don't think so Oh, maybe I can. Yes, I can do, like, a cross-body moment, but it kind of, like, hits weird because it's, like, at your rib cage, and then, ugh. and then, like, it's, like, a little above, like, my hips or whatever. So, that's nice to know. Uh, but again, I feel like it's just going to be a bag that's a top handle and then like if I do ever need like my hands free I could just do this and then I'll just be fine. So I think the strap, the longest strap is nice to have but I'm totally just going to like carry it as a top handle moment. I don't know if I should get a bandeau for it or to kind of like wrap the leather but I kind of want it to like age as the rest of the bag, if it makes sense. Because if I have the bandeau on the top handle strap right here, it's going to preserve like the color, but then everything else is going to change over time. So I don't know about that, and um, but I'm really excited that I have this bag in my collection. It again, like I said, I've been wanting this bag for a really, really long time since 2018, and honestly, I don't have a lot of monogram stuff as much anymore. I probably only have like three brown monogram stuff. So this is going to be the fourth item and I'm really excited about this one. So hopefully you guys are so new by watching this video. Please have a wonderful day because you're wonderful and don't forget it. Alright, bye guys.